Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 767, reorganize string. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic on the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we are given a string and we need to arrange this string such that we don't have repeated characters continuously, right? So here we have two characters repeated in the string, right? So we need to arrange this string such that A, B and A. So now we don't have repeated characters continuously. We can have duplicate characters in the string, but it should not be arranged consecutively. So while we arrange the string, we should not miss any character. All the characters should be included in the rearrangement, right? If we can't rearrange the string, we need to return empty string. So now we will see how we are going to do this. So initially we are going to have a dictionary where we are going to have the character and its count. So here we have three A's and we have the count as three and for B we have two and for C we have two, right? So initially we are going to have a max heap where we are going to store the character and its count, where we are going to store the count with a negative value. Since we cannot perform max heap directly in the Python, so we are going to have negative values for the count, right? So here we will be having the count with a negative value that is negative 3 and a that is the character and negative 2 and b and negative 2 and c right so then we are going to have three variables where we will be having the result list then to track the previous character we are going to have previous character variable and we are going to have previous characters count as well so initially we are going to pop the maximum count from the max heap that is the negative 3 and a right so this will be our current count that is negative 3 and the current character is a so we are going to append the character a to the result initially right we are going to append this a to the result so we are going to initialize previous count as count plus 1 so here the count is negative 3 and plus 1 is going to give me negative 2 which means i have appended a to the result and I'm reducing the characters that is the A's count by 1 right so the previous count becomes negative 2 and the previous character is A now we pop the next character from the max heap that is negative 2 and B so count will be negative 2 and character will be B so now we need to append B to the result after appending we need to check whether previous count is less than 0 which means we are checking whether we need to still append the previous character, right? So in this case, it is true. So we are going to append the previous count and the previous character in the max heap. That is still there are two characters of A yet to be appended to the result, right? So after doing that, now we are going to make the previous count as count plus one that is we are going to get negative one and the previous character is the current character b so now we need to pop the next maximum element from the max heap that is the negative two and c so now we need to append c to the result so then we need to check whether the previous count is less than zero which means is there any previous character yet to be appended to the result right so here we are still left with one character of b right so we are going to append negative 1 and b to the max heap. That is the previous count and previous character. So after doing that, we need to add 1 to the count. We are going to get negative 1 and negative 1 will be our previous count and the previous character is now c. So if we keep doing this one, we are going to have a, b, c, a, b, c and a, b, right? Then finally, we need to join all the characters in the result to get our final answer, right? That's all the logic is. Now we will see the code. Before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So initially we are going to have character count dictionary where we will be having the character and its count. So here I'm using the counter function. Then I'm having the max heap where I will store the count and its character, right? I'm storing the count with a negative value. So then we are having the result array. Then we have the previous count and previous character in order to track the previous characters count and the character itself right 
which has been initialized as 0 and empty string respectively. So then we are going to have a while loop. We are going to run the while loop until the max heap is empty, right? We are going to pop the maximum count on its character. Then we are going to append the character to the result. Then we are going to check whether the previous count is less than 0. If the previous count is less than 0, which means we still have previous character to be appended to the result, right? So we need to append the previous character's count and the previous character itself to the max heap. So then we are going to initialize the previous count by adding 1 to the current count. Then we are going to store the current character as my previous character, right? So after max heap is empty, we need to check whether the length of the result is equal to the length of the actual string, that is the original string. If it is true, we just join all the characters in the result. We just return that one. Else, we return the empty string, right? That's all the code is. Now we will run the code. As you guys see, it's pretty much efficient. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. Not to check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers, guys.